Hey, we're live. Let's get going. Hi. Um, welcome to Design Month. Um, it's the last Wednesday for Workshop Wednesday. Um, happy to be here. Um, so just to start off, just wanted to introduce the entire top quarter design CA team. Adam isn't able to make it today, but you have myself, Isa. I'm uh, one of the challenge architects here. I've been you know, working with Top Quarter for a year and I'm you know, really enjoying working with you know, the community and all the other CAs and co-pilots. So um, it's been a really great experience for me. Anthony and Big Nesh, you want to introduce yourselves? Hi, uh, Anthony here. Um, Big is here in London, been with Top Quarter for the best part of I'll probably say six so from seven months now and um and enjoy working with you guys and I look forward to working or learning more for this this next session and working with you in the next few months. Uh hey, uh so I'm Vignesh. So uh, my handle is Tvix. So I'm working as a good challenge architect of our past on and off years. So it's been good. Okay, so it's great to hear from everyone. Like I said, it's been a really good month. Um, so yeah, let's start off and talk about a little bit about the platform. Um, so we'll start off talking about top quarter design. So we, again, we'd like to welcome all of you to Workshop Wednesday. Um, so top quarter design is a global design community focused on solving real world UX, UI problems through the collective creativity of the crowd. As a top quarter designer, you have an opportunity to compete in all types of design challenges, to win prize money, sharpen your skills, and to learn the latest technologies while working on real, real, real web and application design projects for big name customers. Top quarter design is a challenge-based process where, where you submit your design concepts and solutions for critique and feedback by top quarter customers. Through this process, we promote design education, open design thinking, and innovation through rapid design. It is about challenging ourselves, the design process, and the way we work together as a design community. So you have many opportunities to specialize within our community, from information architecture to UI UX design to front-end development. We welcome you to our community and look forward to seeing you in future challenges. So I'll talk a little bit about the tracks within design. First off, we'll talk about information architecture. So information architecture is the top quarter design track focused on wireframe challenges. Wireframe challenges help to start a customer's projects by breaking down application requirements by showing relationships and interactions between the data. Wireframe inputs are generally focused on clickable assets, demonstrating uh, data entry user workflow and experience without regard to the user interface look and feel. Then we move on to UI design. UI design is the top quarter design track focused on user interface, user experience, and customer experience. Um, as it applies to design concepts, mobile, web, and application design. UI design is mainly focused in two areas, uh, which is design concepts and production design. UI design outputs are high fidelity design using tools like Photoshop, and but mainly we've been using a lot of XD and Sketch. Uh, moving right along, we'll talk a little bit about front end development. So front end development is the top quarter design track focused on realizing the designer's vision in code. So front end development is converting the design source files into HTML, CSS, Angular, React to either create a demo or to create front-end code that will be used for building the application. And then lastly, we have TAS, which is probably the most recent addition. Um, so TAS stands for Talent as a Service, and it provides a measurable process for working in a task-based model that gives more members the opportunity to increase earnings and work on larger streams of work with a virtual community team. So, We've seen an increasing demand from customers who want to supplement their workforce with the crowd rather than hiring full-time employees. Many would like to work with specific members one-on-one. -on -one. So that's our top quarter design track. Um, so yes, yeah, so if we can talk about, so you know, we just kind of like wanted to spend some time and kind of just recap the month, talk about, you know, like, 
certain things that may have had an impact on us as CAs and, you know, just everyone who's, who's been involved with putting together Workshop Wednesdays. So um, the question that I want to ask, you know, everyone who's, you know, on this call is, what's the most valuable thing that you learned? Anyone can start. Anissa, if you want to share the slides, that'd be great as well. Oh, I'm not presenting? Not currently. That's OK. Oh. OK. Um, but and either of you, um, Vignesh or Anthony, you can kind of talk about what. Yeah. Uh, OK. Yeah. So like uh, what I like in the design workshop is like the way the community works. Uh, like um, it's like I felt like it's a virtual TCOM, like you know, uh, meeting all the community members and as well as the design, uh, sorry, design admins, everyone like virtually. So like I I, I felt it is very good. Like I feel like it's a, like uh, I I was uh, meeting them in the like you know real TCO. Yeah. Uh, and one thing I liked is like the passion of the community members. Like you know, uh, when it would be uh, like. Uh, doing taking some sessions to the community like uh, live uh, design workshops and uh, like you know taking uh, interviewing some members like who's sharing their uh, experience in the top coder and tip, tips and tricks to the other members yeah I, I actually i like that very much like yeah that's it from me yeah and just chiming in on that i think that was was quite useful to uh um, find way to be able to engage with those I've been working with, in, you know, over the last few months without just the limitation of the screen name. If you get used to characters, when you're interacting on screen, essentially you have an idea of what the other person is like, but that idea is just your idea in your own mind. So getting to meet, interact with, and engage with some of the, you know, the guys has been quite um, important. Also, looking at um, last week's session specifically, you know, working through Sketch, working through Adobe XD, there were things that I was able to pick up on, you know, to have more of an understanding of the level of effort each person puts into their thought process and producing the output. So it's again, looking at the uh, engine behind the results. And it's quite nice to, you know, just to get some vision, to visuals, some exposition into that, in that perspective. Sure. Yeah, I agree with both of your points. Um, for me, it was, um, I guess, a lot of it was all, the entire month was great, but uh, the ones that really stood out for me was the interviews with, you know, past members and alumni, the you know, people who've been with the community, you know, for a long time and kind of started at Top Coder and are now, you know, working for, you know, really major design studios. And, you know, it was really cool to hear about the journey about how they got started, how they discovered Top Coder, and to, you know, how they became discovered or how they decided to kind of like go on a journey and move on and, and work in, in professionally in design, you know, for, for, for you know for some, some major studios. So that was really cool. And they, they also shared a lot of um, just like knowledge and like you guys mentioned, tips and tricks, ways that they go about, you know, their design process. So that was cool. Um, but also, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the. I really enjoyed the session that we had last week. Also, when we talked about the tools, to, you know, like you know, tools that we love, XD versus Sketch. Uh, I've my, I personally work mainly in Sketch, but it, so it was really good for me and eye-opening to see, you know, some of the features that are available in XD. Um, so it was it was actually a, a really good learning experience for myself. And uh, also, I just really like the interactivity with the community, you know, just like, you know, getting the questions from the community, seeing what's on your mind, you know, in the, in the chat, in the chat channel. Um, and just, you know, just kind of like having that interactive component. So those are the main things that I, I really enjoyed about Design Month. Yeah, it's been really engaging. This, this is my first Design Month. So you know, it's quite, I didn't know what to expect coming into it. It's been more positive, engaging, mm -hmm. 
the engaged mother. So yeah, indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, actually, I feel very proud at this moment. Like, I actually came from the community. So the way I see the community is like really good from this perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah you see both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we'll, you know, I'm sure, you know, so this, this month's coming to a close, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot, you know, next year and even throughout the year, um, it you know, it'd be cool to interact with you guys, you know, even in the Slack channel and the community channel, cha channel, um, just have that interaction. That's always, uh, you know, super vital and super important and, 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 and fun, fun to be a part of. Thanks. Nadia. Oh, yeah. Um, if you don't mind, if you could just uh, refresh the deck, because I did have to make a quick edit. Um, so while you're doing that, I'm going to share what I enjoyed about Design Month. So hi, everybody. I'm Jesse. In case you don't know who I am, um, I manage the Top Twitter community. Um, and I have a number of community members who work on my team. And um, we do a lot of really great things for the community, including Design Month. Um, we started Design Month a few years ago as a way to get the new designers engaged and, and get some new designers into our community and just really have some fun. Um, so it's really rocketed since the first year. Um, we've been doing a lot of really great fun challenges, a lot of educational things. These Workshop Wednesdays have been a constant every year. Um, and every year they get bigger and we have more people. And I think this year was really, really well done with the amount of people that we had on them. And so I'm really grateful to all those who took time to come in and, and be a part of our workshops. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I just like to, to note here is that I've been with Top Coder since there was before there was a design community. Um, the design community at Top Quarter was being formatted right right when I was starting. Um, we were doing logo challenges, and so like the Top Quarter Open Logo Design Challenge was that it was the first design challenge we ever ran was the year that I started, and there was no design community. It was just a Top Quarter community and a couple of designers scattered around. Um, and what has really evolved on top of the um, of, of the design community is just the the quality of the designers that we do have in our community. And it's not, it's something that I'm always blown away with. So um, every single time I run a challenge or I see a challenge being run, I am blown away by the results and by the quality of the designers that we have. And so to me, it's just, it just shows off that we are a great design community here at Top Coder. And the amount of things that we can get done and the, the cool things that are happening are always growing and improving and just, I'm never disappointed. And so to me, that just really proves how great of a community and how good you designers are. So thank you for being here and for helping our customers and our staff to get really amazing things designed all the time. Um, you guys are really, really good, <laughs> really talented, um, blown away every time how the process works. It's just, it, I don't know, every time you think I would be used to it by now, but I'm not. Every time a design challenge I run and I look at the results, I'm blown away every single time. Yep, you ne yeah. never prepared. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So thank you. Okay, so you guys want to get on some of the fun stuff, right? Yep. Let's okay. Talk. Some winners and announcements. So um, here I'm going to put this up there. So let's look at this slide first. Um, so we are going to go over Design Month Dash. So real quick, Design Month Dash. I started this year. It was the first year we ever did it. Um, and to be honest, I was a little lifty as how this was going to go. And when I originally told the designers, the design co-pilots, I wanted to do this kind of challenge, they're like, are you crazy? And I pretty much said, yes, I'm crazy. Let's make it work. Um, and so we did this crazy design month challenge. We had 10 heats in round one, five heats in round two, one heat of round three, over 130 designers, 16 different color palettes, 32 random items, which some of them are really fun, right? Um, Eight design co-pilots, 22 guest judges, 29 days. And after all that, we have some winners. But before Issa moves that slide over, um, round three was ridiculous, all right? I'm so irritated with how good you guys were. And so it was so hard to pick our top three. And so I want to show second place first. So this goes out to Oning Kex Ronda. So congratulations for second place. Now. This design was really, really well done. I loved every second of it. I mean, when I opened up a Top Quarter Educational Center, like this is kind of what I envisioned. You know, a lot of this is what I envisioned. So we really, really loved this design. And so I want to reward you with second place. 
Um, and I'm saying that because if you go on to the next slide, we actually have a tie for first place. <laughs> so congratulations to Ankit Pasi, um, who's a newer designer that I've actually never worked with before. Um, you can't really see the, the, the effort he put in here, but the design that he put together was incredible. Um, this again is just like if I opened up an educational center for top quarter, this is really what I would imagine seeing. I think he did a really great job incorporating the random items, which were fire and a football player. And Anke, it's actually here on the chat. So congratulations, Anke. You won a trip to TCL finals because of your work in this design month dash. So I'm so excited for you. Um, your design was amazing. Um, as I said, it was really, really hard. Um, I think I was on the phone for over an hour and then I was contemplating back and forth. So um, congratulations to you. And then because as I said, two really good designs, we couldn't pick a first place. So our second first place winner is Sandika actually. So if you see the design, it's completely different than the other one. Um, and I really liked how the, um, how the, the designs were changing, like how you interpreted what we wanted to get out of this. And this one is just, it really spoke to us because it was really unique. Um, it was really informative. You knew where you needed to go. And that's kind of what I kept saying. Um, for an educational center, if you go to it, if you go to an educational center website, you want to be able to see what you what you're looking for, right? And so I think these two did a really, really good job in showing where you should go, what you can look at, and, and all that good stuff. So I'm really excited. So congratulations to Sindika for winning a trip too. Um, now with that said, because it was so hard to decide, <laughs> you can go on to the next slide, Isa. I decided that I think all top three should win a trip to TCO because we had two first place and a second place. And so congratulations, the queen has decided <laughs> that we will give away three trips to TCO from this design month dash. So owning cakes, Rhonda, um, Sandika, and Ankit Passi. You guys are all winning a trip to TCO. So congratulations, a round of applause. Congratulations. And I must say, um, you know, I would love to do design month dash again next year. I'd love to make it annual thing if you guys liked it. Um, that said, I can't always promise I'm going to pick the top three to actually win a trip. That was kind of a fluke. I didn't anticipate picking three people to win a trip. But um, I will be in touch soon with you folks on your trip. But um, we're going to Houston, as you might have seen the announcement last week. Um, TCO finals will be in Houston, Texas, November 13 to 16. Um, all the details besides that will be made soon. And so, um, yeah, congratulations. I'm so glad that Ankit's on this chat right now and listening to you win. That's just amazing. Um, one of my favorite things to do is giveaway trips to TCO. So, good job. Okay, moving on. So, designs that we loved but didn't win. Okay, so as I said, we were on the phone for over an hour <laughs> talking about these designs. Um, and these three designers definitely deserve a shout out because they <clears throat> did a fantastic job. Um, and the way that we were determining win versus not win was really like, okay, I like this one better than this one because of X, Y, Z. Um, so Toxic Pixels design, I thought was really, really well done. It was really unique and really fun. There was a few tweaks that I think um, could have been made. And, and we have all this amazing feedback for all of you that we'll be posting afterwards. Daniela, our co-pilot, will be posting. Um, Brian Vinar also loved your design as well. Really great layout love the way you put things together and same with stark 18 1995 <laughs> um this this design really spoke to us too it was really fresh and unique um so the the amazing way that you folks took the design problem and came up with all these amazing different ways to solve it again it blows my mind every single time um, i was getting mad because they were all so good and i had to pick <laughs> how do we pick just one person, so we picked three. Oh, and I see Nino's on here too. Hi, Nino, you won a trip to TCO finals. Congratulations, in case you missed it. Um, so um, thank you again, everybody who took part in the Design Month Dash. Um, I did send out a survey to see if you guys who participated would be interested in doing this again. I would love to run this again. So if you guys like it, please let me know. Um, I think it was a really great way to challenge you, to challenge the way that you design 
um, to challenge you with those really hard color palettes that Daniela put together, which were really fun. I mean, I hope you learned something. And that was really the point, to have some fun, but to really learn how you can incorporate some really random color palettes and random items like fire and unicorns and dumbbells. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely had some fun random items. It was really fun to put that together. Um, actually, the last round, I wanted Harshit to be one of the random items. So I wanted you to insert Harshit into the educational center somewhere, but I figured that'd be too easy. So we decided on a football player instead. <laughs> okay, good job. Right, so thanks and congratulations again. And then we can move on to the next. Um, so we wanted to announce our TCO stage three trip winners today as well. Um, congratulations to DJAC Mania, Universo, and Engo One, who I believe is a first time trip winner. So congratulations to you folks. We'll be making official TCO 19 stage three announcements very soon. Um, but we are very happy to um, announce you guys as winners. So you also have won a trip to TCO through your hard work during the stage. Now, um, if you're not sure what TCO is, I implore you to look into it. Um, I will definitely put a chat, a, a message in the chat. Um, the Top Cutter Open is our premier tournament that we run year round for our community. And so every single stage of TCO, um, we have uh, points that you can accumulate. So as you participate in Top Cutter Challenges, you're earning points towards TCO. And at the end of the stages, the top point earners will win a trip to the TCO finals. What that means is we reward you with a flight, hotel, and lots of goodies to come to the United States to compete live on stage against some of the best designers that we have at Top Coder. And it's a very big honor to win a trip. We do treat you like a VIP, of course. Um, it's really, really fun to be on site meeting other community members and meeting us and, and other top quarter staff but also you get a chance to win ten thousand dollars as a design champion for tco so just because stage winners are announced for third stage three doesn't mean the event is over we have stage four running right now and it goes through july 31st so stage three uh, stage four just started early may so what that means is you still have two full months to try and qualify for stage four so Get out there. Any design challenge that you see at Top Quarter will have TCO points associated with it. So the more you, you uh, participate, the more points you can earn. So best of luck for stage four. Uh, we look forward to making all those announcements in the, in the coming weeks. And then of course, TCO stage four finalists in the coming months and, and getting all of you live at TCO finals. So again, congratulations to our three folks, all from Indonesia apparently, which is awesome. Congratulations to you guys. Yep, congratulations. Okay, so I wanted to just do a quick highlight of one of the fun design challenges that we did. This was all Fajar. Um, he's one of our design co-pilots as well as our des design evangelist. Um, and so he ran this really fun challenge where you had to create a design without design tools. Um, so you had to use something completely different like Excel or you know something totally random. So we wanted to just showcase some of those really fun designs. So um, the first one is, um, this was done by Kudunksman 1985. He won third place. And this is done through Excel shape. <laughs> so pretty cool that he was able to create that design outside of the typical design tools. And of course, that's Adam, in case you didn't know. Adam. All right, and then we have second place is Bill the Zab. This is an Excel drawing, and this is me and Adrock. <laughs> and the cowboy hats are reminiscent of TCO 18, of course, because we were in Dallas and Adam wore his hat the whole time. So that was a pretty cool drawing. <laughs> I'm very square. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then first place, we rewarded to Con Conlin um, this Excel drawing. So I really like this. I mean, the message is adorable. But it's just cool how he created our logo in Excel. Um, but not to steal the thunder of Conlin, of course, is the next one, which would be his daughter who drew this hand drawing. Um, and, you know, we don't really have kids challenges at Top Quitter, but he submitted this design. And it's just adorable um, how he drew, she drew her father's workplace. 
Um, and so, of course, she's our honorary winner, and uh, we're sending a T-shirt her way. So really excited about that. It just was so cute. I actually shared that with our staff team because it was just a really great, really great drawing. So looking forward to having her on the community in the few years. <laughs> All right, so great job there. Um, next up, we have the design community updates, which I can handle as well. Um, so right now, Fajar is busy doing our design boot camp. So this is his second boot camp that he's run. Um, basically, what he's doing is building and growing our design community. So not only you know just hey come join Top Quarter, but hey come join Top Quarter and we'll teach you how to do it. And so um, he uh, started these on his own. He pretty much put together the whole uh, path, the whole, um, all the details around the agenda, the, the, the learning, the presenters. So Fajar's worked his butt off for these and we are so grateful to him for doing this because he's bringing in some really great designers to Top Quitter. And um, they're starting off in Indonesia, of course, because that's where he's located. But that doesn't mean that we're going to stay in Indonesia. The plan is to really grow these boot camps around the globe. So if you are a designer in a different country or a different region and you think a boot camp would be um, advantageous for your area, for your school or wherever you are, please reach out to us because we want to grow this program. Um, they have been successful so far and we're really excited to have our second one um, going on right now. So thank you, Fajar, for that. We love we love these events, and we hope that some of our new designers who come out of those boot camps continue to join the community and, and do challenges because that's what they're doing now. And we have some really successful designers already. So great job. Okay, so there's two design challenges still running. There's about 24 hours left in both of them, I believe. So the TCO 20. I know, crazy, kicks off in J August, August. <laughs> so TCO 20 is kicking off in August. Um, as I mentioned, the TCO runs year round. So we're doing the logo design challenge right now. So we did the first logo design challenge, but there wasn't, it was, we weren't, we weren't finished yet. There, I don't think we found one logo that could really suit our needs. So we're doing a variation design challenge right now. So we're taking our top five choices from the first logo design challenge and running a variation challenge. So basically you're getting getting a logo and you gotta mess around with it and give us something really great. So there's still uh, 24 hours to do that. And of course, there's the really fun or the mem challenge or whatever you guys call it, or the mini, I've heard someone say mini, which is really funny. Um, whatever you wanna call it challenge. <laughs> Daniela is running that. So um, go check that out. There's another day left of that. So if you wanna have some more fun for design month, that's what you wanna do. And then next up, I want to give a shout out to some of our designers and community members. Um, so they are doing this really cool blog post slash journey to some of our Top Cutter Open regional events. And uh, we created a Facebook group for them called Top Cutter Nation. And the point of this is really to get people together. Um, so this is uh, Mahestro and Perry Vicky and Ravi June. And maybe some others that I might be missing, hopefully not. But um, they are traveling to a bunch of our regional events. And while they're doing that, they're working with Top Coder, of course, as their day jobs, as co-pilots, competitors, whatever. And so it's a really it's a really cool to watch how with a job at Top Coder as a member doing co-pilot work, you know, competitor work, you also can be free to travel and do whatever you want to do. And so this is really going to showcase the flexibility that Top Twitter provides you um, with some great stories, um, some learning. Um, and so we created a group so that you could follow along and kind of share your Top Twitter Nation story. So if you're out there co-piloting, designing, but traveling and, and working wherever you can, it's a great opportunity to um, be a part of that group. So check it out. Message us if you have any questions on that. And then finally... We just want to do a thank you. So um, I need to thank this design team here, most of you guys that are on here, plus Adam and Sunita, who are not here. Um, thank you for joining us every week on these workshops and being a part of Workshop Wednesday. I think it always goes well when we have um, the team collaborating together. So we just want to really appreciate all the work that you guys have put in and, and being here. I also want to thank the design community team. Um, and I, hopefully I'm not missing any, but Daniela, Sita, Fajar, Vicky, 
Um, they've been working on design month since the beginning, um, promoting things, planning things, building things, running things. Um, especially Daniela, we'll give her a quick embarrassment because even just three minutes before this uh, workshop started, she was editing slides for me, adding things and fixing my mistakes. So <laughs> um, Daniela or Darike, as most of you know her, has been an instrumental part of Design Month. So thank you to you and to all of you for helping out. Um, we couldn't do Design Month without the community, of course. And then finally, a shout out to our design co-pilots. Quask, Maestro, GRV, Ashu, Derek K, Farjar, Shakespeare, Louise Rodriguez, and Perry Vicky. Um, they helped us manage the design of Dash. So without them, we wouldn't have been able to do that really crazy challenge. Um, so they did a fantastic job. Everybody has done a fantastic job. So thank you, everybody. Um, and I think that's the end of the slides, but I would really like to put it out there if anybody else has any other thoughts that they would like to share. Um, or anything else that they learned, or any tips for next year? You know, was there anything you'd like to see for Design Month next year? Are you Are you asking us a question? Anybody? Yeah, anybody. Oh no, um, you know, I think I think we I think we kind of summed it up in the um, you know, when we talked about just you know earlier, like you know, like those things that impacted us the most. Um, like I said, it was, it's was it been really great to, to interact with the community, um, you know, to see how much, you know, how many of, how many of you are involved and um, to see that, you know, so many of you have gained value from the platform and it's, it's, it's just, it's, it goes two ways because I've also gained a lot of value from the platform and, um, you know, I've, I've met, you know, quite a few of you virtually and interacted with you and it's been a really, really good experience. Um, for me, I guess, as far as improvements, I think it was great the way it was. I think we kept it pretty loose. I, I really like, I really like the, the interview sessions that we did with community members, and I hope that we can carry that through into next year. Just kind of keep it, you know, really loose interviews, talking to different members. Um, I, I like the workshops, so things where we can, you know, learn more, whether it's learning tools or learning tips and tricks. Uh, anything that's you know, workshop driven. I, th I think those are all really valuable uh, for the you know for for the workshop Wednesdays going forward. So um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's just been it's been it's been a really good ride for the month of May for me. Right. <laughs> and Adam could not join, but he says hello. This is his mini me, mini Adam. Um, and coincidentally, we did this last year for Design Month. We did a challenge where you could design a stuffy. So we did Adam, of course. Um, and we also have this kangaroo, which I must apologize, needs to be shipped out to Toxic Pixel like six months ago. It's coming. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So if you guys don't have anything else, I think that's it for me. We can we can call this a wrap. But I appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you to everybody watching at home, and um, look forward to next year. Yep. Thanks everyone. Thanks to every, thanks thank to everybody you. involved. And yep. So yeah. Thank you, just thanks, for you. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>